Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another achievement video and today we are on the hunt for that's pretty neat This objective is to take a picture with the selfie camera with all the birds and bird watchers of the Dragon Isles listed below now There's 20 of them So uh, that's quite a bit each Every one there different ones are scattered across all four zones of the Dragon Isle. So uh, When you complete this though, you get the title reward called the bird watcher, which is pretty neat uh, some of these are rares, so they're on a spawn timer. Some of these rares only spawn on certain days. Uh, one is gated behind the Anaran Plains quest line. The Apex Blazewing here is in is in a dungeon, which is unfortunate, but you know it is what it is. Um, one you need a you need some materials to summon it. So, it, I mean, it's not an easy task, but it, it, it's very doable. So I, I'll show you exactly where to find every one of these. And I'll put in the description below what I found out during the process of this. So maybe it can help you. I'll also tooltip each one. So if you're looking for a specific one, you can just jump to that part in the video. So let's track this. Uh, we got our camera on our toolbar here. And let's go take some pictures, uh, knock this achievement out, and become a bird watcher. Okay, the first one we're going after is the Apex Blazewing. Unfortunately, this is actually in a dungeon. It's in the Naltheris dungeon. And it's right near the last boss, Warlord Sarga. And you can see it right there. You can take a picture of it when it's dead. The good thing is, this is the only one that's in a dungeon, so... We'll take a picture of it and see if we can get credit. And there it is. Gave us the credit here. We'll just double check it. Yep, Apex Blazewing. So, one, 19 more to go. So, on to the next. All right, this next bird that we're going to snap is called the Forgotten Griffin, and he is located up on a uh, perch here on the mountain. And this is tameable if you are a hunter. So the respawn rate that I've figured is between two and six hours is what I read. So we'll snap a photo of him, and you can snap him while he's dead. So, so if you come up here and it's already killed, uh, you'll be okay if you just snap him dead before he despawns. So on to the next bird. Hey, this next bird we're going to snap is called the Territorial Axebeak. And you can see them right here on the bridge. They are located in the Waking Shores. Basically, they fly around the Obsidian Bulwark. So you can find them in, a, in multiple locations, especially if you take the path up to the Obsidian Bulwark. And these are not hard to find as they are always uh, spawned. So we'll snap this guy here. Get our credit. Let's double check it here. And we got it. So, on to the next. This next bird that we're going to snap is called Drakewing. And Drakewing is located in the Waking Shores. Um, he actually has a flight path, as you notice here. He flies around this whole area, basically on the river. Uh, we are parked on this bridge here in the Waking Shores, just south of Obsidian Bulwark. Uh, because every time I've seen it pop, it's usually in, right in this area here. So we're just going to camp out here and hopefully we can snap a photo. Now this bird is tameable if you're a hunter and it does keep its name. Respawn rate of what I've noticed is between two and six hours. So this one could be kind of difficult. Hopefully you're just flying around and your rare scanner pops and you can locate it. You can also try to server hop or turn war mode on or something like that. I recommend just camping at one place like I'm gonna do and then fly around every once in a while and, and see maybe if uh, he's up in another location down the river. So we're gonna wait out here. When he comes up, we'll, uh, we'll snap a photo. All right, we managed to find him uh, doing some server hopping. So that's what he looks like. Let's snap a photo real quick. He came off our list. So that's how you get Drake Wing. On to the next bird. So we made it to the Anaran Plains, and we're right here in this location, just north of Maruakai, uh, overlooking the Waking Shores. And here you'll find Avis Griffinheart, 
And if you notice behind her is Pala of the Wing and Halia Cloudfeather. Now, these are the bird watchers that you need to snap for the achievement. Uh, we're really lucky here because all three are together so we can get them all in one photo. But Avis is usually at this location, whether if the Forgotten Griffin is spawning or not. But if the Griffin is spawning, the odds are pretty good that all three will be at this location. Now, I will put in the description below where you can find Pala of the Wing and Halia Cloudfeather if they are not together here. So, but if the Griffin is not spawning, Avis will usually be by herself. So, we'll snap a photo here and get all three. Make our life a little easier. Let's check it out. We got Avis right here, Halia, and Pala of the Wing. So, on to the next. The next bird that we're going to snap a photo with is the great Inara herself. And she is located in the Anaran Plains, just north of Marurakai, up in the mountains. Now, if you come to this location and you can't see her, that means you haven't met the prerequisites to do so. You're probably on an alt. That's why I recommend doing this on your main character, because in order to see her, you need to do the whole Anaran Plains questline. Like, all of it. So... And on your main, you probably already done that. So that's why I recommend doing it on your main character. Now, if you are a hunter, you can't tame her, unfortunately, nor can you tame any of her children that are flying around near her. So we'll take a photo of her and knock her off our list. Just double check here and she's off our list. So we'll head on to the next bird. This next bird that we're going to take a selfie with is called the Feasting Buzzard. Now these guys are always spawned up here. They are located in the Anaran Plains just east of Marurakai in this little village right here. And they are hostile so that's why we're standing at a distance. Now if you are a hunter you can tame these, these birds if you want. They'll be a ferocity pet. So we'll snap a photo here, knock it off our list. Get one step closer to the achievement here. We'll just double check. And we did. So we'll head to the next bird. This next bird that we're going to take a selfie with is called Quackers the Terrible. And Quackers is a... It, it's a rare that you got to summon. Now, in order to summon him, you're going to need three items. You're going to need the large sturdy femur. You're going to need one of those. Three contoured fowl feathers and two tall strider sinews now make sure you have those in your inventory before you come do this achievement that way it'll make life really easy so the most important thing about quackers is you got to make sure the agla camp is located in this area right here which is south of cloverwood hollow and the reason being for that is when the camp is in this location right here then right next to this cart here, there will be a duck trap kit. Now, it will be laying on the ground here. I already picked it up because I picked it up because I didn't want no one else to pick it up. Because if you come here and there's not a trap, then you're going to have to wait for it to respawn. And that usually takes around 30 minutes. So, But if you hover over here, it will say to use those three items. The one large sturdy femur, the three contoured fowl feathers, and the two tall striders to new. To create an Agla duck trap. So we got the items right here. We got all everything we need. So we're going to create a duck trap. Now if you notice this. It says the empty duck trap. Throw and trap an unsuspected duck trapping. Trapping it alive for use as a decoy. Now when you have this empty duck trap. Then you want to go down to this area right here. On the map. And you'll notice a, a nest. And that's Quacker's nest. But in order to summon him, we're going to have to trap a duck. So if you notice, this is it right here, the large nest. And you see these pine wing mallards? What we want to do is we want to throw this empty duck trap at a pinewood mallard there. And when you do 
you'll notice it becomes a trap duck. Now you want to place this trap duck in the large nest to summon quackers. So we'll do that right now. And there comes crackers. So we'll snap a photo real quick with him. And if you are a hunter, a hunter, uh, you can tame him. He is tameable, but he won't keep the name Quackers. So we got Quackers off our list. And that's how you get Quackers the Terrible. So we'll move on to the next one. This next bird that we're going to take a selfie with is called the Glade Ohuna. And the Glade Ohuna is located in the Anaran Plains in the Cloverwood Hollow area, which is really nice because this guy is always up. So there's no respawn timer. There's no wait time. Uh, if you are a hunter, you can tame it. It will be a cunning pet once you tame it. Now, the only drawback of this is sometimes there's a world quest here called the Low Hanging Fruit, and that quest gives you an extra action bar. Now, sometimes that action bar won't let you use your selfie camera. It like bugs out like that, so you might have to complete the world quest uh, if it's up. So, we'll snap a photo of it and knock it off our list here and head to the next bird. All right, the next bird that we're going to camp is called Zenit Avis, and the, it is located in the Anaran Plains, just west of Terakai, circling the mountain. Now, this one might be kind of difficult because people farm this elite right here. Um, if you notice, it's carrying an egg, and that egg drops a mount. So if you want to know how to get that mount, I did make a video there if you want to check it out. Now, the respawn time on this, every time I've camped it, has been one to three hours. People have told me it's taken them between three and six. So you could take that as you will. You might get lucky like I did, just fly over here and it's up. So I have had luck with it being up right after a server reset. So maybe that's something you want to plan in the future if you're having a hard time finding it. Now, if you are a hunter, you can't tame it, which is unfortunate. So we'll snap a photo here of Zenit and open up a group in group finder just in case someone's camping this guy. So let's see if he's on our list and it is. So we'll head on to the next bird. All right, this next bird that we're gonna take a selfie with is called Nergazari and Nergazari is located in the Inaran Plains and he runs in this area right here. Now I say run because he's fast. He's like the Carl Lewis of the Inaran Plains, let me tell you. I am situated right here in Anari Springs because this is his spawn point right here on this cross section right here. Um, when he does spawn here, he'll spawn and take off counterclockwise. Uh, the good thing about that is when he does spawn, if you get close to him, he will attack you. So you will pull aggro on him. If you are a hunter, he is tameable and he will keep his name, which is really cool. So. The spawn rate that I've noticed is between one and three hours. Of course, some people say they waited three to six, some people longer than that. So take it as you will. You, you know, you might get lucky and just be flying around the Anaran Plains and locate them. You know, maybe your rare scanner will go off. Um, we're gonna try to server hop and find them because that is one option you can do. So when we find them, we'll be right back and we'll snap a photo. All right, we just we found our boy Carl Lewis here, Nergazari. He we found him in this location right here. Um, so let's stop a photo, get him off our list, and we'll go on to the next bird. Our next bird that we're going to take a photo of is called Blue Terror, and they are located in the Azor Span. Uh, right in this area right here, there is a re respawn timer on it. So uh, I think between one to three hours, you can server hop though and try to find it. But it's up in a tree right here. So we're just going to snap a photo real quick and uh, get our achievement here. See if it goes off the list. And it did. So on to the next one. This next bird is located in the Azor Span. It's called the Horn Flitcher. 
and it's located right here just west of Camp Antonitis. Now there is no respawn timer on this you just come to this area in the Azor span and you can find it which is very convenient. Can't tame it as a hunter so um, let's just snap a photo here and see if it comes off our list here. And there it does. So on to the next. This next bird that we're going to take a selfie with is called the Pine Flicker. And he is located, well, he's actually located in a couple of spots. So I'll put all that in the description. But I took the one that's north of um, Theron's Watch, the flight path. And he's just chilling on a tree here. So we'll just snap a photo here. Now you can, um, sometimes this is bugged if you take a photo, but most of the time it works. So on to our next. All right, this next photo that we're going to take is with an NPC. It's actually a bird watcher and not a bird. Uh, it's located in Thaldrassus. She's located in Thaldrassus. It's just south of Valdraken in a cave. Now, if you come here, you'll notice a waterfall here and, and a little cave here on the, on the side. So you want to come in this cave, and she is located at the bottom of this cave. And she is called Chef Fry Airy. I'm sure that's a homage to Guy Ferreri, the cook. Now, if you come to this cave and she is not located here, then she's probably at the start of... She has a quest chain, so she's probably at the start of the quest chain, and I'll put that in the description below of where you can find her there. So we'll snap a photo of her, get her knocked off our list. And there she is. So on to the next... This next bird that we're going to snap a photo with is located in Thaldrassus, uh, just south of Valdraken, right here, uh, basically on the riverbank. And it's a peacock, and it's she's sitting on this platform here. Uh, it's called Liskron the Dazzling. It's a rare. I, I've killed it before. Now, if you are a hunter, you can tame her, and but she doesn't keep her name. Now, the respawn, uh, even though it's a rare, I, I believe it's always up because I've always seen it up. So I think you can just come to this location and the odds are pretty good uh, that you're going to find her. So we're going to snap a photo of her and get her knocked off our list. Let's double check. There she is. So on to the next. This next selfie that we're going to take is with the iridescent peafowl. This bird is located in Thaldrassus, just northwest of Tearhold here and east of Valdraken, up in this area right here. Now, they don't have a respawn time, so you just come here and you'll find a bunch of them, which is really nice. Uh, sometimes they're in a tree, uh, sometimes they're chilling on a rock. So, we'll snap a photo here, get it knocked off our list, and we'll head to the next. And the last bird we need for our achievement is this guy right here, Elderin the Reborn. He is a rare. He is located um, just north of Valdraken here. So we're going to snap a photo here. He is on a 12-hour respawn rate. So this one's going to take you um, some time because he basically spawns only two times a day. So... That's how you get the achievement. Um, that's pretty neat. And how you find all the birds that you need. So, hope this video helped and good luck with your achievement hunting.